Try to imagine life without plants. Flowers, trees, bushes, fruits, vegetables. Anything that comes to mind. Imagine, you wake up in the morning, and they're simply gone. No way. That would be a catastrophe. It would be a very gray and dark world. All animals and humans depend on plants for life in some way, even if they never eat a plant. But why are plants so important? Well, let's dig deeper. Plants are living things. Keep that in mind. They are as alive as you or me, as、uh, mammals or fish. Apart from their beauty, plants have a set of superpowers which support life on Earth. Plants' special superpower is that they are producers. This means they create energy from the sunlight in order to grow, reproduce, and survive without eating other living things. Plants are unique for being the only living things on planet Earth to do this. The other superpower plants have for life on planet Earth is that they are our food source and are the reason we can survive. What do I mean by this? Well, plants give us a large part of the food we eat, and they even give us some of the clothes we wear. If you eat meat, then plants provide food sources for these mammals and fish to eat and survive. Most importantly, plants have a special ability to release the gas we breathe. They release oxygen. This ability has a long special name called photosynthesis, and you need to remember that as it's really important to your own survival. In photosynthesis, a plant will take light from the sun, it'll take water, And the carbon dioxide we breathe, and make oxygen and glucose, a type of sugar. Photosynthesis allows plants to be producers for planet Earth and lets them make the nutrients they need to survive. Because of photosynthesis, we have oxygen for humans and other forms of life to live. Without plants and photosynthesis, Earth would be an empty place. I'm not exaggerating. It's because of plants that our planet is bursting with life. Most plants share some basic parts that help them operate. Take a closer look at the screen. The majority of plants have roots that anchor the plant to the ground. It's these anchors that help plants take in water and nutrients from the soil. Then we have stems, which are there to hold the plant upright, and they also have a very important role. Stems move water and nutrients throughout the whole plant. And last but not least, leaves. They connect to the stem, and they collect light from the sun, and they collect carbon dioxide from the air. What about the differences then between the different kinds of plants? It's true they come in all sizes, shapes, and colors. Some of them can even be harmful to people. Take, for example, poison ivy. Some plants, such as the bristlecone pine, for instance, can live for thousands of years. Just try to imagine what this tree has seen. Although plants differ in their shapes and sizes, all plants are alike in one way: they make their own food in the process of photosynthesis. Let's delve in a little deeper. How do they get the sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide? They absorb sunlight thanks to a material called chlorophyll. This chlorophyll helps them take in energy from the sun, called solar energy, and use it to produce sugar. If you ever wondered why plants are green, Green chlorophyll is the answer. The next important question: How do plants take in water? The short answer: In different ways. For some of them, it's really easy. Take a look at this moss. Its leaves soak up water straight from the ground. Not all the plants have been that lucky, as you may have guessed. Here are oak trees, for instance. Well, in an oak tree. Water has to travel a really long distance to get from the plant's roots up to its leaves, and that's not even the largest plant. For some kinds of plants, it's typical that they have a system of tubes, and these tubes carry water and nutrients from the bottom of the plant all the way to the top. We've already talked about sunlight and water, and I've also mentioned carbon dioxide several times already. Carbon dioxide is in the air all around us. And plants need it as much as they need water and sunlight to make their food. They take in carbon dioxide through tiny holes in the bottom of their leaves, called stomata. Now let's take a look at the bigger picture. While making their food, plants take in carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. It's like 
they breathe in the carbon dioxide and they breathe out the oxygen. Now you and me and every other living organism here on Earth takes in oxygen and puts out carbon dioxide. Isn't it great how interconnected everything is? Now you know why plants are so important. We can't live without them. Let's sum it up. Plants are living things. Most plants have roots, stems, and leaves. Plants carry out a process called photosynthesis to make their food and energy from sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis is important to all living organisms because that's how plants produce oxygen, which is in the air we breathe. Because of photosynthesis, plants are producers for living things on our planet. I hope you realize how important and special plants are. Now it's time to move on and continue with more interesting stories. I'll be waiting for you in the next lesson.